Welcome back to Project Zenki Redo. Now in the last one you saw, I actually did the, the cooling system here for the ingredients to add in here to drop down the temperature. Now this intake, being that it's a, a cold air intake, actually runs right in front of the radiator and when the fans pull cold or a hot air through, we actually bring it right up to this intake here. This thing's a heat sink. Just adds all that heat right here, especially when it runs by the radiator. Bringing in cold air here and then heating it up through the tube actually makes it hot here. So I'm gonna add a cold cover tube from Design Engineering. Now this is gonna protect this and, and shield this from heat. It should drop the temperature from this point here. So I'm gonna take the car on an eight mile loop around the house, get it nice and warmed up, and I'm gonna measure here at the, at the inlet of the throttle body before and after, and that way I can see how much does this protect the uh, intake from heat. Let's go get the car started and get it warmed up. Okay, now I've taken the car on the uh, eight mile ride around. Now it's up to operating temperatures. You can hear my cooling fans are running, which means this, this is probably up to 180 to 190 degrees when they kick on. So this uh, intake actually is nice and hot to the touch. So you can feel that it's actually picked up a lot of heat from your radiator because it's so close. Plus when these fans kick on, all that heat comes right up into it. Let's get some baseline numbers before, now we can compare it after. So, looking right here at the coupler, it's roughly about, uh, looks like about 126 degrees right here, and it feels it. This is before the radiator, looking at the top here. Looks like 121.9. Let's double check that over here. Yeah, it's about 121.7, so it's pretty consistent all the way through. It's actually gonna, you know, any cold air you're trying to pick up here through the fender, it's actually now gonna be nicely heated when it goes in the engine. You're actually decreasing your power just by driving the car. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, now that I measure with the flute before, put the cool tube on, and then we'll take it on the same drive, make sure it's nicely heated, so the car's warmed up, and uh, we'll measure it afterwards. All right, I've let the car cool off now, and I've taken the cool tube out of the packaging. And as you can see, it, it is actually a little bit longer than this intake here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the intake off, uh, wrap the cool tube around, and measure where I need to cut it in order to, in order to uh, cut it to length. So first thing I need to do is obviously take it loose from the throttle body, hoses here, take it loose from this side here, and the map sensor, and then take this out. All right, now the intake's off. I did actually wrap the cool tube. It actually does have a, a Velcro or a hook and loop fastener all the way down it. So you can actually just wrap it around, starting at the end of the map over the silicone coupler. Wrap it all the way down. You can see I did cut some holes here for your two connections or your three connections here for your breathers. And then I actually cut it so it actually will go over this uh, silicone coupler here all the way down to the base of the throttle body. They do give you some foil tape here to go over the edge. I did have to cut this in length. I cut about uh, about three and a half or four inches off the end. And then you can uh, seal it with the, the foil tape here to make it, give it a nice appearance. Plus it helps the um, material not to fry after you cut it. So now it's just a matter of putting it back on, hooking everything back up. And then let's take it for a test drive around the eight mile and we'll uh, check some temperatures when I get back. All right, now that I'm back from my uh, eight mile trip, let's take some measurements of the intake so we can get a little before and after action. So I've actually got it pulled back now you can uh, get to the intake here, right at the throttle body. We're looking at about 105 degrees. That's a good improvement. Now it'll help keep the engine cooler, keep the air going into the engine cooler as it goes through the summer and even the winter. That's all from this time, see you next time.